For this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a really simple, easy camouflage design. And it's really easy, you don't need any um, special wraps or any special polish or anything like that. Um, as you can see, I, there's different colors you can do. You can do, I mean, all different colors. I'm gonna show you how to do this one today. But I just wanna show you that you can do the, purple's my favorite color, so. Shading in purple. But I've done blue, blue turns out really good too. So let's get started. So I love to do my nails and have them look pretty, but I am extremely cheap. So I usually don't get them done at a salon because, I mean, that is so expensive. And even the nail polishes I buy, these are really inexpensive. These are like $1 to $2 each. Um, and these last a long time. I'm really surprised. But I always feel like, you know, if you spend a lot of money on nail polish, then, you know, I don't know, if it goes bad, I just feel like I wasted my money. So, and you can use things around the house. The skewers are like so handy. That's like, I think every nail person who does design has these around the house. Um, I also use for like, to put the nail polish on, I use, this is the a coffee lid. I just grabbed a couple extra when I was at, you know, getting my coffee. And um, you can use margarine lids or butter lids or even like a plastic bag. So let's get started on this. Okay, so to start off with, I did do like a, I do my original uh, base coat, which is like a clear Sally Hansen like top and bottom coat. I just like, I think it protects my nails a little bit. I did do like a sheer white, because originally I was going to use the white as part of the design. If when you're going to do like the design, it's really cool to do like a white, a gray, and like two colors, like a, a light pink, a dark pink, or dark purple, light purple kind of thing, the variation. So it's cool if you have four colors, you can do three. I think the blue one I did was three colors. It was like a white, an aqua, and a dark blue. And that turned out really cool. But as, as far as making the design, it's really easy to do it with four. So the first thing I'm gonna do, is loosen the top of all these. Oh well. Okay, the reason why four is good is because you can do just like a little blob each color in each corner and it's gonna get messy okay so that's the start how's that look okay so now where the lid comes in handy is you might want to let that dry a little bit. Like I tend to, I'm very impatient, so I usually start right away. But it's better to, to wait a little bit. So after you have like the four corners, I'm going to take, let's do the dark first. I'm not sure which order would be best. So I just kind of grab some and let it drop on here. Then I take my skewer. And I start with where that black is, or the dark green, and kind of give it little, little design, little blobby design. This design is very forgiving, and also like, I mean, if you, you there's really no way to screw up on this. So there's the dark one. I just use my finger to wipe it off. I usually end up with paint all over my uh, nails. I would like to try this with like acrylic paint. I've heard a lot of like designers do that for nails. But I just have so many nail polishes I can use. Okay, so I'm gonna do the brown. Like I said, there's really It's so forgiving. Hopefully I'm keeping this in camera. It is a little bit harder and maybe I should have started with the light first. When you have the lighter colors, they do tend to get lost a little bit. Oh, 
Okay. So now you have like the four, like they're kind of blended in together. Let that dry a little bit. So do as I say, not as I do. And then you just go in and find different little spots to add the other colors. And like I said, the dark ones tend to be a little bit easier to manage because they don't get lost in the, uh, they stand out more. Let's try the light. I got that one pretty thick, so you want to see maybe over here. Another cool thing about this design is that if it starts to chip or it comes off at the end, you can just take one of the colors and just fill it in, and you can keep the design for a lot longer. I'll switch it over here. That was one thing I always hated about doing my nails is that like after a couple days, they would get messed up. And this way, you can keep it a lot longer. Let's see, maybe down here. Hmm. There's a little bit too much. I mean, light blue up there. I mean, light green. <laughs> Still in the blues. Now, the one bad thing about this is that it tends to get a little bit thick. Just make sure that you try not to touch it. Commit to like being on your phone or watching TV. So that doesn't get messed up. I did sleep on mine, and so they got a little, little sheet imprint. But put a little, uh, clear coat on top. I think that looks pretty good. I think it's missing something though. I'll probably go back and find some more. So like I was saying, like right here, I noticed this earlier. That part right there looks a little like it's missing a spot. So I think I'm gonna take. The beige color. It's really funny too because usually I don't have beige or brown because I'm usually like bright colors, but I did a tutorial with um, ice cream nails. So I had the brown. See, like if you have a chip, you just go in and fill it in, and you can't tell. Put a clear coat on there. The, the hard thing about this though is that like you keep like maybe a little bit here a little bit there but like I said it's super easy very forgiving and like this one was with purples I don't know if I would do the silver again because it's a little bit too shiny and the other thing too is that I love glitter and I tried to put a glitter and let me see it there I did a glitter top coat on there and I don't know the glitter just breaks it up too much because I like the camouflage, like having definite, you know, shape to it. So I try to cover it up a little bit, but there's still a little glitter coming through. So usually I'm all about the glitter top coat, but this one maybe not. But if you're feeling the glitter, by all means do the glitter. So there it is. So I would do a top coat. And, uh, but I would do clear top coat. I wish I'd clear off a little bit of this so it's easier later on when I go to clean it up. Just take like a Q-tip and uh, clean up the, the edges. So there we go. Camouflage nails. So here it is, the finished nail. I did uh, I did clean it up a little bit on the side, still have a little bit more to go. Uh, I did a clear top coat. I think it looks really good. Again, fighting not to put glitter on there. 
but it just number one it doesn't make sense with glitter because you're kind of like camouflage is like supposed to hide and glitter it's the opposite effect so but I did um originally I was gonna do one hand pink camouflage and then one purple and then like switch the thumbs and so they kind of tie them in together and I didn't have any light pink so I did the original camouflage colors so that's why if you're wondering why I did those two color schemes together because they really don't make sense now you know why so there it is camouflage nails thanks for watching